What's your name and what do you do? Hi Peter, I'm Gary Baker, Group Managing Director at CDUK and Chair of the Furniture and Interiors Education Skills and Training Alliance, better known as Fiesta. Gary, it's been a tough year, but what has been your personal highlight? So uh, I've got to split this into a few different areas, really. Uh, from a very personal point of view, like many of the other people on your diaries, uh, just been a privilege to spend the time with the lovely family. Uh, from CDUK's point of view, it's just how brilliantly the team's pulled together. The, the whole CDUK family has rolled up the sleeves, caught up with how crap life is, uh, and got, got on with it. We've managed to keep things going throughout, and that's been ju just brilliant to see. Uh, from a free Fiesta point of view, uh, it's about getting Skills Plus, which is our apprenticeship training vehicle up and running. And that is brilliant from my point of view, because it's about doing something, not just talking about it. And, and what we can do now is help bring new talent into the industry when the industry is ready for that and also offer businesses support with their vocational training needs. So a real plus in my head that we've, we've got on and done something there. Oh, and Leeds United getting promoted. And as an armchair fan, being able to see every game. So I'm, you know, I'm not a diehard, but I've followed them through the years and just seeing the club being uh, run so well and you know playing, playing against Liverpool, Man City, whoever, it's just, Brilliant. And you're not allowed to edit that bit out, Peter Jones. What did you learn during the first lockdown? Lo loads, to be fair. Um, I, I think I've narrowed it down to, the, the, firstly, the, the benefit of having strong values at the heart of the business, because that gave us a real framework for our decision making. And when the whole thing erupted and we we're in the crisis mode, we needed to get on with stuff quickly. And, and just try to see a, a way through and get planning as quickly as possible. And being able to fall back on those values uh, gave a rationale. Doesn't mean you always make get it right, but at least you know why you're making that decision. And I, I think the, the other bit was just learning to trust your gut. We, we, there was so much noise and information going on and just being thrown at you. And you, in the end, you just have to think, this is what I feel. You know, this is what's right for me, for my family, the business, whatever it might be, and just go with it. Back, back yourself on that. Uh, and from a practical point of view, I learned very quickly the the need for structure in in your day when I was working from home. So I I never really worked from home at all. And suddenly you're at your desk, you you get into bad habits of just emailing and social media, or whatever it might be, and the day goes, and then you do more because you think you should be. And I realized that if I, if I plan my day each and every day, knew what goals I was trying to hit, and once I'd done those, felt a sense of achievement and was able to move on and shut off uh, and get on with other stuff, that was massive for me. What are you planning or what are you doing now in the second lockdown to support those around you? So this is about recognising that I think we feel really good if we if we give to others and see others uh, feeling better about about life. And what how I've tried to do that myself is by focusing on making sure within within the business that we we recognising and talking about mental health and and well being in a way we simply weren't. You know, a year ago. Yeah, we, we maybe ticked a few boxes in that area, but it certainly wasn't wasn't anywhere on, on our agenda, really. Um, so just talking about how I'm feeling to people, because setting the example that it's all right to say you're having a crappy day or a crappy week, whatever it might be, training people into uh, into this whole area. So we, we've got we've got people uh, training on as mental health first aiders, um, which is which is a great step forward for us. Uh, making sure people know then fundamentally how to access professional support. That that's key. It, this is a an issue that isn't going away. It's probably always been there, but we haven't recognised it. And now's the opportunity to to not let that. Um, disappear to carry on with it and, and put that at the top of the, the agenda as I say. 
<laughs> and then from a, from a Fiesta point of view, uh, with Skills Plus, uh, we've worked really hard to to get the government to focus on us, to do the due diligence on, on Skills Plus, and we now can act as a Kickstarter gateway. And that means we can help uh, businesses come together, get over that hurdle of 30 people, 30 you know, access to 30 people together, pool that. And that, what that means is we're helping young people who are on universal credit, who n not not got, uh, you know, anything to do or any prospects potentially, because it's getting harder and harder to find jobs. We can help them get back into the workplace in the future. And that's really, really positive for me. What are you doing to keep yourself positive? So, uh, fundamentally, I'm pre pretty optimistic as a person, which helps because not everyone is. I, I get that. Uh, firstly, back to that structure in a day. Make damn sure you know what you're trying to achieve each and every day. That that helps massively because then you can tick some boxes and say, I've done it. Be grateful. Uh, I, I, you know, you hear such horror stories about what's, what's going on. Uh, and so you have to look at, at your own situation in that light. And I just just take the positive from from that you feel grateful for what you have got then and then that's a, a real booster um I, I need people so it's about trying to be as connected as possible picking up the phone getting on zoom teams whatever it is it's not the same as seeing people so when we could get out and even now you can have business meetings um you know just taking every opportunity to connect with people try and meet new people even if that's digitally, um, do, doing loads in that area. Uh, and the final point is something I learned during lockdown. We were, we've all attended loads of webinars and sessions and trainings just to you know, get through the time sometimes. Um, but one guy ta taught me that the brain is like Teflon when good stuff happens. So something great happens, you go, oh, that's all right, that's good. And, and you forget about it quickly and it moves on. As soon as something bad happens, your brain's like Velcro and that crap stuff just sticks to your brain. And once you understand that, you try and manage that so that when good stuff happens, you really, really force yourself to recognize it and celebrate it. And you don't sweat the bad stuff as much. Then that helps you to have a much more positive outlook on life. Uh, and and that's, that's just something I'm, I'm trying to do every day. What would you like to say to inspire others? Fundamentally, this is going to end. Uh, so I, I really like the quote, tough times don't last, tough people do. Uh, you've got to acknowledge how, how bad things have been and it's, it's far from a bundle of laughs at the moment. But you've just got to rush headlong towards what, what is happening. Uh, find all the positives you can. Uh, and back to being grateful for as much as possible. Uh, and as a sector, I think I think we've been reasonably well insulated. If you look at other sectors, you know, you focus on hope at hospitality and they've just been shut down and just disaster after disaster. We in the main have been able to carry on and people have been able to function. And I know this week, you know, randomly, the, the showrooms have just been shut down and that, that feels like the end of the world, I'm sure, to, to, to a large part of the industry. But that's the 10% we can't control. So you've got to look at the 90% that we can. It's about framing, framing the picture for me. Uh, it, it's just up to us how we respond to things. You look to the future, use the time wisely. So suddenly you've got a few weeks as a business that you wouldn't have otherwise had. So get on with the planning, get on with looking at how you pivot, how you get the most out of, out of the new world. Uh, learn, learn stuff because because that's what it's all about. The world is changing rapidly at the moment to take that opportunity to get on with some new stuff. Think of the opportunities that this is undoubtedly going to bring in the future um, and it will end and there will be good stuff on the other side of this.